بارك الله فيكم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين صلى الله وسلم وبارك على نبينا محمد وعلى اله واصحابه والتابعين لهم باحسان الى يوم الدين in the name of Allah the compassionate the merciful all praise is due to Allah the almighty and may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon his prophet Muhammad his family and his companions all until the day of resurrection i welcome you and i thank very much my brothers and sisters at ICK, the Islamic Center of Kuwait, and to the uh, Muslim community in Kuwait. And uh, very happy to be with you again uh, every week. And now, today, alhamdulillah, we're going to complete, by the will and grace of Allah, the story of Prophet Yusuf alayhi salatu was salam. Uh, we went through all of these events that took place uh, in the past three uh, episodes, and we talked about what happened to Yusuf alayhi salatu wasalam from the beginning. Again, the story, uh, because the story involves the family of Yaqub, the family of Al Yaqub, um, the father Yaqub alayhi salatu wasalam, and the son Yusuf alayhi salatu wasalam, and his brothers. And by the way, subhanAllah, there is no mention of the mother uh, of either Yusuf or the mother of his brothers, because they do have different mothers, but the same father, Yaqub, alayhi salatu wasalam. This is very interesting because we can see how the story unfolds um, time after time. Only women are involved here with the women of uh, Al-Aziz, where she really was tempting uh, uh, and, and trying to seduce uh, Yusuf alayhi salatu wasalam, but then she admitted her mistake and then she asked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for forgiveness. Now, coming to where we stopped last time, where they actually, uh, uh, the brothers of Yusuf, after returning to their father, Yaqub alayhi salatu wasalam, uh, and not being really able to bring their brother uh, Benjamin or Binyamin with them along to the father and, and actually, uh, uh, no, they, they actually uh, came and they uh, uh, asked uh, their father to take along Benjamin or Binyamin with them in order to get the, uh, the food and the uh, merchandise they want to uh, 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 exchange or buy from uh, Egypt. Now they are in the in the land of Canaan in the uh, uh, in the Sham area or the greater Syria. Uh, so the story goes as they took along Benjamin after uh, their their father took the covenant from them uh, that they will bring him over, they will take care of him, either they will bring him over or unless something happened where they're going to be all in danger. So that's, that was the issue. Now, after the, um, they entered uh, uh, the, the land, uh, this is Ayah 69, when they entered the place of Yusuf, alayhi salatu wasalam, he actually, uh, 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 really uh, whispered to his brother. He talked to his brother uh, Binyamin secretly and he told him that, look, I'm your brother. I am Yusuf. So do not uh, be uh, disturbed uh, or do not grieve over what they, they were doing because he knew that they were plotting all of this. They, they threw Yusuf. He did not mention all of these things because they are known to both um, Binyamin and to Yusuf. So he said, just just uh, be comfortable. I'm your, your brother. Alhamdulillah, Allah has joined, rejoined us together. And uh, uh, do not worry. Uh, be safe. So feel safe that you are, that we are together. Now, there was a plan from Yusuf, alayhi salatu wasalam, and that was by the uh, inspiration from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He wanted to prove their, uh, uh, his, his brothers wrong and he wanted to show them that as they plotted, he is going to do something, but not 
to uh, get anyone hurt, but rather to prove to them that he was right and he wanted them to admit their mistakes. Look at this plan. Now, when he prepared them for him, when he loaded uh, the, uh, uh, the merchandise, what they, what they were uh, given, mainly wheat or corn, بجهازهم, they, they put these, uh, 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 they loaded the camels with the saddlebags and everything. What uh, uh, Yusuf والسلام, did is that he took the cup that he uh, measures these, uh, uh, the, the wheat or the, the grains with, and he put it in the saddlebag of his brother, Bin Yamin. And then, of course, he, he, did, he did that secretly because they were, they were giving, they were measuring for, for many people. So this, uh, this bushel or uh, cup or goblet, uh, whatever you call it, it's, it's, a, it's a, a measurement uh, cup that they use to, and it's for the king, it's, it's, it's for, the, uh, for Yusuf alayhi salatu wasalam. Now, uh, a proclaimer, a herald, actually uh, uh, made the announcement. Or the caravan, you are indeed thieves. He wanted to shock them. And of course, they came very uh, uh, confused. And uh, really, they did not expect this to be said to them because they knew they were honest this time. This time they were right. And then they came to them, وَأَقْبَلُوا عَلَيْهِمْ مَاذَا تَفْقِدُونَ Now what have you lost? Uh, they asked uh, this announcer or proclaimer. Well, the proclaimer or group of proclaimers, those who were serving Yusuf والسلام, said, نَفْقِدُ صُوَاعَ الْمَلِكِ We lost the cup, the measurement cup of the king. And whoever brings it will have a camel load of food. And the one who said that, the, the master who's doing this, this uh, proclamation work, and he's talking on behalf of Yusuf والسلام, he said, And I am really uh, guaranteeing that this will take place. So in order to show them the seriousness of the loss, of the measurement cup of the king. And of course, what they answered, truly, honestly, this time they were swearing by Allah. They said, They said, we swear by Allah that we do not know that you know we have not come to make any mischief or corruption in earth, and we are not thieves. They knew from last time you, we were here, we did not steal, we did not uh, make any mischief. We just wanted to come, get food, go back to our family and to our people. They said, well, now, let's talk seriously about this matter. They said, What is the penalty if you are telling lies, if you're not truthful in this? Well, they, they said, and, and there's a reason for, the, for asking this, because they wanted them to say what they're actually going to do, uh, you know, according to the law of Ibrahim and Yaqub, because they were making, uh, he wanted to apply that law. And that law actually is this, is in the coming ayah, ayah 75. The penalty is that whoever uh, was, who's ever uh, 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 the cup was, was found in his saddlebag, then he is the reward, meaning that this person actually where we find uh, or will find uh, the, the measurement cup, if we find it in his saddlebag, that means he's going to be enslaved according to your law, not according to the law of, land, of the land in Egypt but rather the law of Ibrahim and Yaqub alayhima as salatu was salam. And they admit it. Kadalika Najjad Dhalimi, Allah said, that's the way we punish those who are wrongdoers because he knew that 
they did. They were unjust. They were transgressors. They were doing the wrong thing by trying to kill Yusuf alayhi salatu wasalam. But now the punishment has, already, has, has come now. And it's just only to show them that uh, uh, Yusuf can do uh, something in return. Now, in order to make sure that Yusuf uh, is, is to make this whole uh, uh, affair uh, correct and right, and to show them that uh, the way in order to make them uh, feel more secure, he said, Now, when he wanted to inspect and look for the measurement cup, he said, He started with their own saddlebags, uh, before before the saddlebag of his own brother, Bin Yamin. Then when he came to uh, the saddlebag and the camel load of uh, uh, Bin Yamin, he found it in his own belongings, in his own saddlebag. That's the way Allah planned for Yusuf in order to, uh, you know, let things unfold for his own favor. He was not able, if he applied the, the law in Egypt, he would not be able to get his own brother and to keep him just as a slave in their own eyes, although he is not going to be a slave, he's going to be, uh, uh, you know, uh, treated uh, uh, nicely as, as a brother, of of the of Yusuf alayhi salatu wasalam, who is the ruler in that area, or at least he is uh, ha having that very very high position in the kingdom in that place. He was not going to uh, get his brother except what Allah wills, Subhanahu wa Taala, because he was actually uh, doing this. He was he was willing that this would take place. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala actually uh, uh, does uh, raise those whom he wills high ranks and and over everyone with the knowledge uh, of one who's Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who's having the full knowledge always when you think that you, you have the, uh, the greatest and the biggest knowledge, there is always someone who is higher than you. And of course, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has the full and comprehensive knowledge of everything. That's why he planned this. Now, still, they're having that in mind. Oh, ah, the two brothers from the daughter, uh, I mean, from, from uh, uh, the wife of our uh, father, uh, Rahil, now they said, Now, if he stole, then a brother before him has stolen. Of course, they didn't know that they were talking to Yusuf. They thought that they were talking to this um, uh, chief, this minister, uh, uh, and uh, uh, person in, in high uh, uh, authority. And, and they said, well, you know, this is not strange because if he, although they were not sure, but they said, e yesriq. They said, if, if he stole, they said, no. If he would steal, then a brother before him has stolen, meaning Yusuf. Well, what they meant is probably, according to historians, Yusuf, alayhi salatu wasalam, when he was very young, uh, actually took uh, an idol, that they used to worship from the house of his grandfather, the father of his own mother, because he didn't want this uh, shirk to be committed by his own uh, uh, grandfather, the father of his mother, of Rahil. And Yusuf actually kept it in his, uh, uh, you know, in his heart. He did not reveal it to them. Uh, he did not reveal that. And he said to himself, not to them, uh, in a spoken word, He said, you are the ones who actually did what you did in order 
to, to kill me, you plan to throw me and you put me in the well in order for someone to pick me up and then just, I would disappear from, from your, from your uh, lives. Wallahu a'lam, Allah has the full knowledge of what you are doing, what you have prescribed, what you're uh, actually uh, 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 describing here. Qalu ya ayyuhal aziz. They said, well, O master, O chief, inna lahu aban shaykhan kabira. Now they said, okay, fine. If you uh, say that we, we have to, you have to take some of us, please. We would like to uh, show you exactly the idea because his father is a very old and aged person. Inna lahu aban shaykhan kabira. Fakhud ahadana maka. Take any one of us in his place. Why? Because they gave their father uh, the covenant and they swore by Allah that they will return him. Inna naraka min al-muhsin. They were trying to appease him and to say, well, you are from among the good uh, 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 doers and, and please uh, help us because we don't want his father to feel uh, bad about him and to have even more grief because he lost his own brother and now uh, Binyamin is going to be taken. It's really going to uh, affect our father severely. He said, Ma'ad Allah. We seek refuge in Allah. And we will not take uh, anyone except the one that we found um, our own measurement cup in his saddlebag. Otherwise, we would be unjust in uh, even. Now, the, the decision has been made, and now they went aside in order to discuss this matter. When they really had this um, uh, despair of uh, getting their brother, Benjamin, uh, they went together and they wanted to confer and they want to have a meeting in order to decide what uh, what what, what they will do. Qala kabiruhum, the oldest among them. That's very, very interesting because this could be the same uh, brother of them who actually advised them not to kill Yusuf, uqtulu Yusuf. No, he said, why don't you throw him in a well so somebody, a caravan would come and pick him up. We don't want to kill him. At least we want him to disappear from our lives and he can be taken as a slave by someone. He can still live, but not living with us and sharing the same love of our father, Yaqub alayhi salatu wasalam. So probably that was the same person. Uh, actually, the oldest, probably who's uh, the wisest among them and who's still having this uh, 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 part of mercy in his heart. He said, and reminding them, Alam ta'lamu anna abakum ad akhada alaykum mawthiqam min Allahi wa min qabl ma faradtum fi Yusuf. He said, didn't you know that your father took a, a strong covenant from Allah uh, and before about Yusuf? Now, you gave the covenant to your father, swearing by Allah that you will protect Yusuf, but you did not. And now you're doing the same thing. You gave the covenant that you're, you're going to, uh, you know, uh, protect his brother, Binyamin. So what's the matter with you? He said, Falan abrah al -ard. I will not leave this land, meaning Egypt, hatta ya'dhan li abi, until my father would give me a permission to do so, aw yahkum Allahu li, or Allah will decide for me, and he's the best of deciders. He's the best of those who give a rule. And probably he will give me back my brother so I can take him along to our father. So he decided not to go. He decided to stay there. And he said, he asked them, since he's the oldest among them, to give them the commandment, irji'u ila abikum. Now you have to tell uh, our father uh, uh, the real story. Tell them when you return to him and say, 
your son has stolen inna ibn kasarak wa ma shahidna illa bima alimna we cannot you know be witnesses except of what we know wa ma kunna li ghaybi hafizin and we knew that what we uh, said is because now we we know for sure because we saw with our own eyes the measurement cup of the king in his saddle bag it meant that he stole it wa ma kunna li ghaybi hafizin we were not uh really knowing what will take place in the future we didn't know that he's going to steal this measurement cup so uh that's that's the story you know we, we when we gave you the promise we didn't know that he's going to conduct in this way and in order to prove their point they said was al qaryata allati kunna fiha now you can inquire and ask in the city or place you know qarya normally in in the glorious quran is meant by cities actually not just a village but rather uh, a city was al qaryata allati kunna fiha meaning the place where yusuf is in egypt wal ira allati aqbalna fiha even the same caravan because looks like they they had a big caravan for them they were part of a big caravan and he, they said you can ask the the caravan you know you know why they they uh, they used to travel in big caravans uh, in order to protect themselves and to help, help themselves against either um uh, the uh, thugs and, and and thieves and uh, those who wanted to take um you know the, the loads of the camels uh, or wanted to uh, steal something so they they travel in a big or large groups and they call them the caravans al-ir allati aqbalna fiha normally when it's called al-ir when when they really have these uh, uh, camels having uh, full loads on their backs wa inna la sadiqun and we are telling the truth we are truthful in this now of course yaqub alayhi salatu salam when he uh, was told by uh, these sons uh, the brothers of yusuf although the one of them uh, stayed behind he actually had this uh, suspicion and he he knew that uh, they were going to uh, you know uh, they they had some plan and because he already knew what they did to yusuf and he disappeared at their hands and he knew that they were not telling the truth but he didn't know and still he did not accuse them subhanallah and look at how clean his heart is although he knew that they did not like yusuf they did not want him around and uh, now his brother uh, is taken and now even the old brother is staying behind he didn't know what's going on and he said bal sawalat lakum anfusukum amra now your souls have tempted you to do something uh, he didn't know with that so what i will do is fa sabrun jamil beautiful patience patience with uh, uh with with goodness and um, and 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 something that i i need to resort to asallahu ayyatiyani bihim jami'a he said that i will be patient and sabrun uh, jamil is i cannot complain to you i cannot complain to any human being i only complain to allah so that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala may bring them all back to me asallahu ayyatiyani bihim jami'a so that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will bring all of them not only yusuf or benjamin but also their oldest brother all of them together innahu huwa al-alim al-hakim he has a full knowledge and the full wisdom subhanahu wa ta'ala look at this confidence and uh, belief and dependence upon allah in the heart of yaqub alayhi salatu wassalam what he did he turned away and turned away from them watawalla anhum turned away from them wa qala ya asafa ala yusuf and he said uh, big sorrow upon yusuf because of 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 the loss of yusuf he you know because the story started with the loss of yusuf alayhi salatu wassalam and now his brother is following and the oldest brother is staying behind now because of grief 
His eyes became white. The two eyes, meaning he lost sight. He cannot see anymore. He became blind. Because he is indeed holding a great big grief inside his heart. He's not giving it out. He's not showing it to people. And then what they did, they, they said, well, you're, you're still living, uh, living in, the, in your own dream. We swear by Allah that you're still remembering Yusuf. Meaning that you'll be very, very sick, just about to die. Or even you become among those who perish, that you'll be dead. So it's either you're going to be very, very sick you're about to die or you're going to be dying that's that's the point you are really uh, uh, getting into that stage he said again he said i only uh, complain and reveal my own grief and my own uh, uh, you know uh, this what I feel in my heart towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I know from Allah what you know not. Meaning that I know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is planning something and he's protecting Yusuf and his brother. And you will know, inshallah, maybe Allah has, has given him not only um, uh, the, uh, uh, the patience, and the and the perseverance and the persistence but rather even gave him the knowledge because he's a prophet and he's a messenger of Allah now he's still all of you know regardless of what 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 they all did he said ya bani yadhhabu fatahassasu mi yusuf wa akhi oh my sons go and seek out look around for yusuf and his brother do not despair of the spirit of Allah, meaning do not have any despair from the mercy of Allah. Verily, none uh, would be despairing from the mercy of Allah except those who are rejectful of Allah. Now they, they listened to their father and they went back again, uh, again asking, uh, you know, for more food. Uh, Allah knows when, was it soon or after some time or was it like on a yearly basis like they used to do in the past? But the point is, it came back to Yusuf. And when they entered his place, Now again, please, uh, master, please, chief, we were touched by calamity, both for us and our family. Even we don't have enough money to give you. Please give us the full measurement and even give us more charity, more sadaqa. Now they are really returning to Allah and they are reminding him of Allah's uh, 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 reward by saying, In Allah yajzi al mutasaddiqeen. Now his heart has been so much uh, you know, softened by, by this and he felt you know, uh, merciful to his father, to their family, and to their own people. And he said, now comes the, the point where he's going to reveal exactly the secret he's been holding from them. Did you know what you did to Yusuf and his brother when you were ignorant? Of course, they didn't know. He, you know otherwise, how would this uh, uh, master would know about Yusuf and his brother? except uh, it is Yusuf himself. So they now recognize and they can see uh, how similar they are, how 
they look alike, although the, 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 the time that has passed, Allahu A'lam, from the time uh, Yusuf was lost to, uh, to the time when, when he rejoined his uh, father and mother and family, was according to historians and interpreters of the glorious Quran, was about 60 years or 80 years, subhanAllah, lots of time many many years maybe the shapes uh, the looks would be different but nonetheless they recognize that now they are standing before yusuf yusuf are you really yusuf he said Ana yusuf yes indeed i am yusuf and this is my brother allah has uh, given uh, his favor upon us if Verily, for those who have taqwa and patience, فَإِنَّ اللَّهَ لَا يُضِيعُ أَجْرَ الْمُحْسِنِ Allah will not let uh, the reward of those who are doing good to be lost, meaning He will keep it for them, He will reward them, He will actually raise them in, uh, in, in, in great and high status. Now they're swearing by Allah and admitting their mistake, and they said, now it, the truth has come. Verily, we swear by Allah that Allah has given you a, a more favor upon us. Now, more favor in dunya. He's given you the rulership, um, uh, you know, uh, so much under your control of, uh, of, of uh, um, you know, wealth. And he has given you knowledge. He has given you wisdom, patience, taqwa. وَإِن كُنَّا لَخَاطِئِينَ Verily, we were wrongdoing. We admit that we were wrongly, um, uh, you know, committing all these mistakes uh, in regards to you and your brother. Now, he did not hold the court uh, to judge them. He did not try to blame them. Just the same, same uh, 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 akhlaq same manners, good manners of Ya'qub alayhi salatu wa He said, la tathrib alaykum. There is no blame on you. La tathrib alaykum. Today there is no blame on you. Yaghfirullahu lakum. Allah will forgive you. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wa huwa arhamur rahimin. And he is the uh, most merciful among all those who are merciful. Meaning he is the best of merciful uh, uh, among those who are very, who are merciful. So meaning, Arhamur Rahimin. He is not only one of the, the Rahimin, but he is the best among them and he's the most uh, and, and, and uh, great uh, uh, mercy giving, subhanahu wa ta'ala. And he said, now, what I'll tell you what to do, and he had this knowledge again, and he knew the communication between him and his father. He you know, as they, as you, you, you did in the past, where you took my own shirt and tried to, to lie to my father and, and you put some blood on it just to show him that I was eaten by, by a wolf. Now take my own shirt to my father and uh, put, place it on his faith. Place it on his faith, yati basira, meaning he will come back again, seeing, and his uh, he's he's going to be able to see, and his blindness will go. And above that, bring all of your family together, bring all your own people back to me again, in order to be generous to you, in order for you to live with me, in order for for you for the whole family to rejoin again. It's a time of rejoining, family gathering, forgiveness, mercy, that all is being together after this long journey of trials and tribulations to both Yusuf and Ya'qub alayhim as salatu was salam. Now, now when the uh, caravan just started to leave and depart from Egypt. And look at the distance between Egypt and the land of Canaan, which is about, uh, according to historians, the, the travel of about eight 
days and nights from that place with caravans. Allah alam how long that would be. Qala abuhum. Now his own father Yaqub alayhi salatu wasalam inni la ajidu riha Yusuf. I find the smell and fragrance of Yusuf. Lawla an tufalil. Except that you will probably uh, uh, claim that I am uh, hilarious and I'm uh, you know delirious. I'm not really uh, I'm not uh, saying that insanity uh, because of my age because of my grief and all that so but this is what I'm telling you you know subhanallah how come he could smell uh, uh, the uh, fragrance of Yusuf والسلام, from a very far away land uh, according to Mufassirin uh, Allah commanded uh, uh, the um, uh, you know commanded uh, the the, uh, the the wind to carry the smell from uh, the the shirt of Yusuf والسلام, which they were carrying with them to him that's that's very interesting and and, and normally you know uh, the cloth would would carry the smell uh, of a person and I remember personally that one of my daughters used to take my own uh, uh, clothes if I if I travel and in order to uh, feel that I'm still around uh, that she would bring these clothes and 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 smell them and and feel some comfort by having that that's that's very interesting and uh, you know those around him were telling him verily you are really still in your old old you know, ideas and 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 uh, 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 you know, you're not really uh, in the right mood, and you're still uh, being misguided, uh, and you're really not uh, saying the right thing. Now, after the uh, uh, caravan has has arrived, and his brothers came over. Immediately, as uh, Yusuf asked them to do, they came and they gave salam to their father and they uh, placed uh, the shirt over his face and subhanallah, by the will of Allah and according to the prophecy of Yusuf والسلام, he became again uh, seeing and uh, uh, he told them, he said, Now, he told his own sons and those around him didn't i tell you that uh, that i know uh, more than you what you know from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala i know that from allah what you know not now they again everyone admitted as they admitted to yusuf alayhi salatu wasalam they admitted to yaqub and they said ya abana istaghfir lana dhunubana o our father ask allah to forgive our own sins Inna kunna khati'in. Verily, we were wrong doing. We were doing wrong in that. And he said, Sawfa astaghfiru lakum rabbi. He said, I will ask Allah to forgive you. Inna hu huwa al-ghafuru rahim. He did not ask immediately for Allah to forgive them. He said, I will ask for them. Sawfa, meaning in the future. Maybe he was looking for a right time, uh, you know, to ask Allah to uh, forgive them maybe he he said uh, you know i'm disheartened and i uh, although he is having this big big great heart as a prophet of allah and he asked forgiveness for them and then everyone came according to the request of yusuf alayhi salatu wasalam the father the mother and the whole family all together prepared to travel to Egypt to see Yusuf. And then when they entered his place, Yusuf, what he did is he brought them very, very close, meaning probably there were some hugs and, and of course some uh, nice uh, kisses from between the father and the, uh, and the mother and the son and, uh, and, and the brothers and everyone. وَقَالَدْ خُلُوا مِصْرَ إِنْ شَاءَ اللَّهُ آمِنِينَ He said, enter Egypt uh, by the will of Allah, secure 
and safe and uh, of course in a high status what he did now with the, the arsh is is the throne that uh, normally a, a big master and and a king or uh, a, a prime minister someone in a high authority would sit on that throne so he took along his uh, uh, father and mother uh, and he put them beside him on that throne and of course when they you know out of respect they fall on the ground prostrating for him this is a, a, a prostration of respect not a prostration of worship because to prostrate for anyone in a worship of course is prohibited throughout the time from the time of adam until the end of the uh, of this life but uh, it used to be done in their own time but for us in our own sharia of muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam this is not allowed there is no allowance for anyone to prostrate for anyone either out of respect or obviously out of worship waqala ya abati now he's telling his father and look at the call ya abati oh my own beloved father this is the interpretation of my own vision my own dream Allah has made my own dream come true because he saw his own father and his own mother and uh, 11 uh, 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 you know stars prostrating for him out of respect and exactly that's what happened his father and his mother and his own 11 brothers all came and prostrated for him out of respect so it really came true and now he said he's remembering allah's favor upon him he was so kind to me he took me out of prison after he was put in prison for a number of years now after he rejoined us and brought you along from the bedouins from the desert after shaitan intervened between me and my own brothers look at that although he did not do anything wrong and shaitan did not come to, for him to do anything wrong he's still saying shaitan came between my own my own brothers he's really not accusing his own brothers but rather he's accusing shaitan which is true he's the uh, one who uh, was whispering in their own hearts in their own ears what they what they can do in order to kill or uh, uh, get rid of uh, Yusuf والسلام, but look at this and how humble he was and how very careful in his own wording of what happened inna rabbi latifun lima yasha verily Allah is so kind and so gentle for who you know for whatever he 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 wills inna hu huwa al hakim verily he is the uh, full uh, knower and the full wiser subhanahu wa ta'ala he is he has the full knowledge and the full wisdom now at the end of the surah yusuf alayhi salatu wasalam is asking allah subhanahu wa ta'ala rabbi qad ataytani min al mulk wa 'allamtani min ta'wil al hadith he's admitting to allah and he's pronouncing tawheed and submission and thankfulness to Allah. Oh Allah, you have given me of uh, rulership, of kingship, and you taught me how to interpret dreams and speeches. Fatir as originator and creator originally of the heavens and the earth. Anta waliyi fid dunya wal You are my own supporter. You are my own um, uh, take care, uh, caretaker in this dunya and in the akhirah. Now comes the time to, to be with my family, but when it's time for uh, death, O oh Allah, take my soul when I'm in the state of Islam, and make me join the righteous people, meaning my own family of Yaqub and uh, Ishaq and Ibrahim and all of the good righteous people before me. Allah is saying after this, this is from the uh, uh, news 
of the unseen al ghaib we are revealing to you o muhammad wama kunta ladayhim id ajma'u amrahum you were not with them when they uh, decided all together wa hum yamkurun when they had uh, plotted against uh, yusuf alayhi salatu wassalam you see uh, uh, this is to verify that this quran is from allah and this is a sign of the messengerhood of prophet muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wasallam and allah if you if you see now the story of yusuf alayhi salatu wasallam is the only story in the glorious quran which is detailed in this long you know uh, uh, surah uh, subhanallah 110 ayahs i think 111 110 ayahs all together telling you the story of uh, prophet yusuf alayhi salatu wasalam and the story of his father and brothers and getting along in these different you know stages and uh, events that were taking place it's a, a whole story from the beginning from uh, childhood until you know old age and 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 finally where allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was so generous and kind to yusuf alayhi salatu wasalam making him the king of that of the land and making him uh, the one in rulership and again rejoining all of the family together and by the way you know the the brothers of yusuf alayhi salatu wasalam repented and both uh, yusuf and uh, uh, their father yaqub asked forgiveness from allah to them and allah forgave them in fact according to some historians they were either uh, prophets after this this when they repented or they were good righteous people so subhanallah after what they did allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgave them and gave them even a higher status and was kind to them and the glorious quran is saying you know uh, now we're telling you this story in order for people to believe the people of Quraysh, any any kind of people any people throughout the time even after Quraysh until today until the day of judgment even most people even when you are eager for them to believe they will not be believing of course we know that you're not asking them to give them to give you something in reward in order for them to say well he's looking for wealth he's looking for dunya he's looking for uh, prestige and so on no in what you're doing is that only this is a remembrance meaning the glorious quran that we gave you and gave you this as a testimony and as a verification that you are a prophet because no one was able to give you details of events like uh, what what happened in even these small details telling even about uh, what what went through the hearts and the minds and even secretly and what was said publicly and secretly privately and openly subhanallah all of this was only said by allah in the glorious quran in wa illa dhikrun lil alami this is just only a remembrance for the world and wa ka'ayyin min ayah how many of ayahs and signs in the heavens and the earth fis samawati wal ard they were passed by and they will see either in the glorious quran or uh, in the lands either in egypt or in um, in syria or in yemen or in the arabian peninsula or all, all of that but they were uh, turning away from that so they're not having the hearts and the minds to think with in order to accept um, this truth and believe in you and the glorious Quran. Even when they believe in Allah, they believe in Allah, but again committing shirk because they worship idols with with Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. So uh, there is no benefit of this kind of of worship. Do they really uh, not? Uh, 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 be secure do they think that they are secure that um, uh, a, a real big uh, uh, you know uh, punishment from Allah would come or even the hour meaning 
the day of judgment would come suddenly without even being noticed. They're not really feeling this. Uh, you know, can they believe? It's after this, after telling the story, this is a call for Iman. This is a call to believe in, um, in the glorious Quran and, and be fearful of the punishment of Allah because you've seen the signs and now the, uh, the messenger Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is telling you the truth. Uh, say, this is the way, this is my own path. Ad'u ilallah, I call upon Allah. Ala basira, with vision, with understanding, with knowledge. Me uh, or I and those who follow me. Ana wa taban. Wa subhanallah. And glory be to Allah. Wa ma ana mina mushrikeen. I'm not among the polytheists. I'm not, I'm not associating any partners with Allah. And the same that, the same with even earlier prophets before you. Wa ma arsalna min qablika illa rijalan nuhi ilayhim. We have not sent before you except men that we reveal to them from the cities, from the, the towns and the, and, and, and the places, uh, not in the desert. See, um, even if, if Yaqub lived in the desert for some time, but he actually was living in, uh, in, uh, in cities. And normally prophets would come from cities, not from the deserts, because they knew they're more knowledgeable, they're more understanding they have more knowledge more understanding of life and so on unlike the people who would come from um, the desert didn't they uh, walk around on earth and look uh, at the uh, dest destiny of those before them meaning the people in egypt the people in and in, um, in, uh, in greater syria all around them and the um, uh, dwelling of Akhirah is better for those who have taqwa. Don't they have minds to think with? And of course, the end is like this. Now Allah will not punish until the uh, messengers would fully convey the message. When they're about to despair. And they really think, uh, you know, uh, uh, strongly and seriously that they were uh, being disbelieved in the victory of Allah would come to them. So what, whomever we, 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 we will, will be saved. And our own Punishment will not be uh, uh, returned or turned away from the uh, uh, people who committed the crime against prophets in disbelief or in hatred or fighting. Now, at the end, the last ayah, 111, as I said, maybe 111, I said 110 earlier, I was about, uh, you know, uh, telling the, 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 the number of ayahs. So the number... The number one, 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 111 ayahs. Verily, in their story was a lesson for those who have minds to think with. It was not just a, 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 an invented or fabricated speech, but to prove uh, what. Uh, uh, is the, what what really is being said in the glorious Quran? What of kulli shay and in details of everything, wahuda and a guidance, wa rahmatan liqaumiyyun and a mercy for a people who believe. So very very interesting, very very interesting about uh, what happened uh, uh, in this. I don't know um, how much time did we take take today. Uh, let me look at the time. Okay, well, I think we took about about an hour. Do we have more time to say? Um, yes, yes, we have five words? minutes, inshallah. Five minutes. Okay, well, because there are many, many lessons we can learn from the story of, uh, of Yusuf, alayhi salatu wasalam. First, uh, look at this, uh, uh, you know, uh, turning of events from uh, trial to trial, from uh, humility to, uh, uh, you know, uh, high status, from insecurity to security and so on 
it, it does, but look at the end. The consequence will always be in favor of the believers. So uh, no matter what happened to a person uh, in, in his own life as a Muslim or a believer, he, his uh, end and consequence will be in his favor. So one has, uh, should have a, a full trust of uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, and his support. The uh, knowledge of interpreting the, uh, the uh, uh, dreams is a great knowledge and it's not given to anyone. Not, not everyone is, is, is able to interpret except that whom Allah will subhanahu wa ta'ala has given this uh, knowledge because it's inspiration uh, that comes in the heart and even they can see it clearly before them or what, what happens, especially when they interpret some, some dream, it will become true. And look at the uh, da'wah to Tawheed uh, when um, Yusuf alayhi salatu uh, called those uh, uh, two slaves who, uh, who were with him in prison, how he called them to Tawheed before interpreting the, uh, the dream for them. And even when he interpreted uh, the dream of the king, he was actually looking for the benefit of people. So he interpreted that and he even uh, said, Tazra'una sab'a sinina da'aban. Not only that you were farming for seven years, but you should save some for the future. He was advising them again with, uh, uh, with the interpretation of the dream. And uh, what a person should, should do is to avoid telling a person, uh, telling people around normally, if you have something uh, good, you have to be careful whom to tell it to because some people might have envy and jealousy and, and, and that's what exactly happened to the, to the brothers of uh, if Yusuf when, he, when uh, his father told him not to reveal this to, to him uh, because they will even be unkind and still because of the love and so much attachment of Yusuf to Yaqub uh, I'm sorry, the attachment of, uh, of Yaqub to both Yusuf and Binyamin, uh, he actually lost them for some time in, in their own lives um, in order to, to show that sometimes the fitna of, of children can really place you in a hard position and they, they, they could be a big, big test uh, for, for believers. Well, I think uh, there are many, many actually, the uh, Sheikh Al, uh, Al Imam Abdurrahman Al Saadi, in his book Masabihu uh, Al Diya Min Qasas Al Anbiya, uh, he actually uh, listed about uh, 40 um, lessons we can learn from the story of both Yaqub and Yusuf, alayhima as salatu was salam. But I think this is enough for, for today. And uh, maybe if you inquire about something, we might be able to uh, give some jazakumullahu khayran wa akhiru da'wana an alhamdulillah rabbil alamin wa sallallahu wa sallam wa baraka ala nabiyyina muhammad wa ala alihi wa ashabihi ajma'in Jazakallah khair shaykh uh, mashallah it was really really inspiring and a very good uh, tafsir of uh, surah al yusuf and mashallah you also covered the story of the prophet with yusuf alayhi uh, salam may Allah accept it from all of us uh, Sheikh, uh, before uh, the participants ask uh, some questions, uh, I would just like to announce with your permission, just the announcement for this week. Uh, firstly, uh, we have on this Friday, we have uh, Brother Daud Ved who will give a lecture on the power of the pen. It is about how, how important is education for children. So he, this will be happen this Friday at 1 p.m. Uh, next week, again, we'll inshallah continue our stories of the prophets with Sheikh Ahmad ibn Saifuddin and we will uh, update you with all the details. Uh, for brothers and sisters who have questions, you can press uh, the Q&A box on your touch screen and uh, you can uh, chat in the chat box and you can just, uh, you know, write your questions over there, inshallah, and you can ask them. Uh, Sheikh, before, uh, you know, I have received a question on WhatsApp, so if I can ask you. Uh, it is, uh, you know, when Bin Yamin uh, and the brothers had gone to visit Yusuf Alayhi Salam, uh, you know, Yusuf Alayhi had plotted against the brothers. So it was kind of, um, how we could put it, uh, like cheating maybe, you know, because uh, he actually planned and fooled them and, you know, tried to uh, make them in a, um, 
like put them in in trouble so yes. uh, is this allowed to do that in islam or what is the lesson we can take from this that's a very good question and actually first he was not doing this out of his own it was planned by allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and allah actually he, he was a prophet and you know prophets can make mistakes but allah will correct them but in this case he made everything go forward in order to prove something had this not happened he would not have been able to convince his own uh, uh, brothers of uh, what they did and actually the accusation and and he wanted to keep to keep his brother bin yamin with him in order for them to come back see the point is he wanted always to bring them back first time when he uh, gave them the uh, uh, you know uh, the full load of, uh, of food uh, you know he actually returned to them their money meaning he gave them for free and uh, so he gave them their own money and gave them even more food full load of, of, of their own caravan so they went back and they said uh, when they when they saw their father in order to bring their brother see uh, he they said uh, to their father Ya Abana, هذه ولما فتحوا متاعهم وجدوا بضاعتهم ردت إليهم. When they opened their own belongings, they found that they the money was returned to them. And he said, ما نبغي. What else can we can we can we seek? هذه بضاعتنا ردت إلينا. This is our money returned to us. فأرسل معنا أخانا. Now he, they're trying to convince their father. Send our brother because this is a generous man. This is a kind man. He gave us free food. And he uh, is only asking uh, that we bring our own brother in order to get more load. Uh, because for every um, uh, person with, with a camel, he will give them uh, a full load uh, of food on his own camel. SubhanAllah, look at that. So that was, that was a plan. And also, it, was, it is possible at times to uh, make some plan in order to prove somebody uh, wrong or somebody to be alert or to see something but look when he did that he did not take the right of anyone he just only gave them the assumption he did not look even he did not accuse him of of being a stealer he said i seek refuge of allah to take anyone except the one that we found our own measurement cup in his saddle bag he did not say the one who stole it see he was very careful in what he said and look this is the perfection of the, of the glorious quran it, so in 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 all of that when we come to the wording of what of what they did first it was a prophet secondly he uh, he was very careful not to take the right of anyone not to accuse anyone but rather to make it feel or uh you know, look to them as if this is what happened, that he actually stole, stole the measurement cup, but he did not. And he just wanted to keep his brother in order to find comfort with him and to bring the family. Probably uh, if he had not done so, the whole family would not come to, to Egypt and enjoy the companionship and enjoy the um, all the good things uh, that they uh, they found later on with with Yusuf Alisam. Otherwise, they would be still uh, living in the desert, starving. You know, uh, having this uh, you know difficulty of life. But Allah wanted to reward both Yaqub and his family, and even to uh, because he uh, he said, uh, so Allah will complete his favor upon you and the whole family of Yaqub. So even the brothers would do something wrong, but then again, they will repent and Allah will accept their repentance and Allah will forgive them and Allah will make them either, as I said, prophets or even righteous people, you know, in order to fulfill the prophecy of um, both Yaqub and the true dream uh, of Yusuf, alayhi salatu wa Jazakallah khair, Sheikh. Mashallah, very beautiful explanation. Uh, we do not have any more questions, so we'll close the session now. 
Jazakallah khair for your time and your commitment, mashallah. May Allah accept it and may Allah bless you and your family. Mm -hmm. uh, Sheikh, do you have any closing comments? Well, nothing except to make dua, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, let us uh, learn and benefit from these stories. I advise uh, my brothers and sisters to uh, memorize the surah, to read it, uh, to understand it, to go back and, and, and learn from it, because the more I look into the surah, the more I find, subhanAllah, new things that uh, would come and, uh, you know, understand the language of the Quran and even uh, the perfect wording of the Quran is because the Quran is, is very, very uh, peculiar and very uh, sensitive in even choosing words. And probably if you know Arabic, you would enjoy it even more. But uh, uh, go back to authentic sources in order to understand the true meaning. Because I know that there are many uh, different um, interpretations uh, of the glorious Quran. They may not, or translations of the meaning of the Quran. They may not come really uh, as, uh, as the Quran wording itself. So the more you understand Arabic, the more you understand exactly the uh, uh, Ijaz, um, and the miraculous nature of the glorious Quran because it's from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's an infallible, uh, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala explained it uh, nicely and, and, and fully. So the more we are attached to the glorious Quran, the better we understand it, the better we apply it in our lives. Wallahu a'lam, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, ala nabiyyina Muhammad, na'am.